What have we gained with this alliance? As soon as Ishmael started giving us orders, everything went wrong. We were doing fine alone. Soon the tower would have been ours. Ishmael is bringing it down around our heads. We brought his stooge into the tower as he commanded. We emptied the tower to serve Let's play the review. The Wheel of Time. You are unhappy? What do you get when you take an old graphics engine from 1998, enrich it with the special effects and add to it the content of Robert John and Fantasy books, The Wheel of Time. Actually, I started in the wrong way. Can I start all over again? Thank you. The Wheel of Time. The Wheel of Time. What do you get? When you take an old graphics engine from 1998, make it so unoptimized, even old PC number 3 had issues with dropping frame rates and add to it the complex, mind-boggling content of Robert Jordan fantasy books, The Wheel of Time. The Wheel of Time is a series of fantasy novels by American author Robert Jordan with Brandon Sanderson as the co-author for the final three novels. Originally planned as the six book series, The Wheel of Time spanned over 14 volumes in addition to a prequel novel and two companion books. Jordan published 11 books in the main sequence. After his death in 2007, publisher announced that Brander Sanderson had been chosen to finish the series. Like The Lord of the Rings, Jordan books encompass the fate of the world, characters of a giant stature, and the rise and fall of nations. In short, the setting is rich and engaging and just perfect for an Unreal Engine powered action game. The game was critically acclaimed, receiving positive reviews on the release date. However, the game suffered poor sales, likely due to being released in the same time period as release of Unreal Tournament and Quake 3 Arena. According to GameSpy, the game was commercial failure. It sold just in a 13,000 copies by April 2000. In 2003, the game was rated number 10 on GameSpy list of the most underrated games of all time. When this game was published, there were 8 books in existence. In order to understand how the game story works, you will need to know the basics of the book lore. If you don't know the difference between Trollocs and Aes Sedai, I suggest that you read some hints, because The Wheel of Time is a feature-rich storyline. Now to make clear about the game versus book storyline. The game is not considered a canon, which means that its storyline is not officially accepted by the book author, although he gave permission to use some story elements. You got that? Ok, let's play and review. There is a story, and it's damn good one, but it's told via cutscenes rather than integrated into the actual game. It all starts in a world when casting spells is called channeling, people live in peace and harmony until hell breaks loose. The Dark One, Shaitan, breaks from his prison, created army, gained followers and nearly destroyed the whole world. After a grueling 10 year war, mankind was able to seal off the Dark One's prison with Quendilar seals. But millions of people were killed, towns destroyed and not only that, all male channelers went insane. Female channelers called Aes Sedai reconstitute and guided humanity out of the dark times. This is where our story begins. Meet Elena Sedai from one of the seven Aes Sedai orders, the Brown Aja, dealing about the knowledge and research. Despite other members 
she is a different kind of situation because she cannot channel which is necessary to be Isodai at all. Due to her deficiency, she learned how to use the Tira Tera 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 Tirangrial. 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 Tirangrial is Tirangrial. Tirangrial, thank you. Magical items used to achieve specific purpose. This is the official definition, I didn't make this up. One night, when Elena was studying the travel arc, a thief, later called the Hound, Woof. broke into her chambers and killed 14 of her sisters using the Tirangrial. After the slap, Elena watched helplessly as the thief took away the unknown Tirangrial hidden in the wall and she didn't even know about it. Rendered cutscenes are very good. Compressed in quick time format for a duration of 1 to 2 minutes, up to 10 minutes. For a year this came out, the voice acting and direction is actually movie tier. They are really fun to watch as they help you to get familiar with the story. The only downside is they are in only 10 frames per second which produce characters stiff movements, especially Elaine, walking like her legs are half a meter in front of her body. It's hard for me to say anything bad about the graphics. Legend Entertainment designers did fine job of capturing the look and feel of its source material. Some areas seems very polished, convincing and authentic with high level of details. I mean, you cannot complain. It still looks decent for a game from 1999. There are some gorgeous environments, grim and scary castles, foggy swamps or beautiful interiors. All is done by clever level design and creative texturing with bit help of Unreal Engine graphics features. The game models are some kind of mixed bag. While the enemy monsters are modeled quite good, human models are a bit quirky with a dosage of cringe. Lower polygon count than monsters and females are with uh, exaggerated proportions. Some Aes Sedai, who deal with diplomacy and fight for just causes, have warders. A warder is a person, traditionally male, who is bonded by an Aes Sedai to become her bodyguard and protector. Poor little Elena, what she can do? She is just a bookkeeper, incapable of channeling. For certain, she will die in a world of dark beings. Me? How am I supposed to handle an assassin and a regiment of Trollocs? I can't channel the one power more than a trickle. I've got an idea. I have some experience in first-person shooters. Played a lot Unreal Tournament matches. Maybe this is a RPG game, so I'll take the role of Warder to protect Elena. Never fear, my dear lady, for I shall smite these wretched creatures for you. This time out of here. What the hell? I mean, blood and ashes. Are you telling me this is Elena, a little frightened bookkeeper turned into a Terminator like badass sorcerer? The game starts peacefully, throwing a simple spell in a self defense turned into a fast paced butcher fest. It's like an Unreal Tournament with spells. This is primary a shooter, a fairly difficult fast paced shooter at that. You can easily drop that even on level 1. Through the gameplay I had so many head breaking and cursing moments even rage quits. It's not quite as frenetic as Unreal Tournament or Serious Sam, but it's no thief either. There are no RPG elements in the game, no character development or have multiple choices for your actions. Enemies are not typical cannon fodder. AI is better than average, easily living up to the standards of Unreal. Shooting from a distance 
they will dodge your attacks, can flank you and use protective spells to deflect attacks. Not only that, what frustrates me most, enemy placement is just behind any corner, they will ambush you or wait in a dark spot. Just be sure to save your game often, but be prepared to die a lot. This is a hard game, especially if you are not an ace shooter player. There are few small areas in levels filled with shielded enemies that can avoid any of your projectiles, so the only thing you can do is to repeat with quick save and quick load those scenes to find appropriate mechanics. Several levels feature stuff like deadly traps, which are often impossible to avoid, lock doors and obstacles. At that point, the game slows its pace with low or non-risk environment, turning into a first-person adventure game. With the absence of a use key and a crouch mode key, the controls are standard and fully configurable. There are few actual puzzles to sidetrack you, but mostly it's a matter of finding right Tiangrial and using them in the right place. Other than story related Tiangrials, the game features dozens of offensive and protective Tiangrial, which generate effects varying from fireballs to shields. Fighting effectively means choosing the right one for the right situation. But honestly, most of the spells are close to useless against certain enemies. Maybe in a strike of panic, the player will forget to use other combinations, so he will go for a brutal force fireballs and hope for the best. Problem is with a spell switching system. Spells are divided into 9 categories and are selected via hitting the appropriate number key the required number of times. I found this system rather cumbersome and reaching all the number keys in the heat of a battle was far from a speedy process. One thing that kinda surprises me was the healing. In addition to the classic spells that heals you, Elena knows a little bit more about medicinal herbs, so if she comes across one, she will use it to restore some of her health. Those herbs can heal up to the 10 points, of, so you can save those healing Tiangrial for later. Sounds and music are excellent, mainly music because it's a mixture of uh, instrumental Celtic music with hints of hard rock, which fits so well into the game. And for that, we can thank Leif Sorbie of the Norwegian Celtic band The Tempest and Robert Berry, who took care of the rock parts. Somehow, if you don't like music, you can still play and enjoy in environmental sounds. The best example for this is the area in Shadow Logok level where you can hear rain, wind, trickling water, hard footsteps and distant screams. Of course, every video game has some weakness, no matter how good it is. If you aren't a big fan of 3D action games, you're going to be frustrated by difficulty. Other things appear minor to that, so I will mention there are some plot holes in the story. Or maybe I didn't truly understand the lore. Such as the Hound, acting the whole game like a badass, but in sewers of the Shadow Logo level, suddenly being a crybaby. I know you're down here! I know you're following me. You want, you want those trinkets I stole from the tower, right? Well, I hit them. I hit them somewhere in the city. You'll never find them without me. You need me, I said I. Think here. Worse than anything up above. And he knows I'm here. I should hear it coming for me. Also, he's later killed by evil spirit only to be alive in the next level. This is not clearly explained why that happened. Not even why Lord Commander of Children of the Light uses the Angrial, when they hate everything being associated with magic. A white cloak using Tear Angrial? I've never heard of anything so unbelievable. They hate anything having to do with the One Power. 
or what Elena thinks by sneaking into White Tower. I decided to sneak in. Surprisingly, during gameplay, the game didn't crash, even without patching, and that's praiseworthy. There are some rare occasions where frame rates suddenly drops below being playable. Mostly during exploring smaller areas, but in big open areas everything went smooth. A bit confusing. The game seems to be unoptimized. Try it on the old PC number one and the game was choppy at 800 by 632 bit color. On old PC number two, the game was playable at that resolution, but later resolution 768p was too much for it. The game is every bit of a hardware hog Unreal Engine was back when it was released. Last thing I want to mention is random graphics flickering and texture tearing. Not even later patching could resolve this. Some people say this is a Unreal Engine greatest weakness. Default Direct3D and OpenGL graphics mods are garbage. Only Glide mod works as it should. Those who like to play this game can play in multiplayer too, even with a few functions available. This is because they shut down the game spy servers, but supposedly it can still be played on local network. In the multiplayer part, you can play as any protagonist of this game. Elena, the Hound, Forsaken or Children of the Light. The Wheel of Time is a mixture of shooter and adventure. It straddles the middle ground and offers just the right dosage of excitement for the average first-person shooter fan. Prepare for some details you certainly have met in older games. Your hearing and sight senses will enjoy. Thank you for watching my video. If you like it, click on subscribe and click on bell icon to receive notification when I upload new videos. Also, check on Twitter and Facebook about news and updates. Thank you and see you again soon.